Next project we're doing for digital art is called Scanograms, and the name comes from the scanner, which is the main thing we're going to be using. So you'll see that the green, red, blue, pink, and yellow computers have these scanners that you should never put anything on top of them. They should be connected to the computers just fine. The way a scanner works, have you guys used a scanner before? Yes. Yes. Okay. Remember, the way it works is it's actually picking up the image that's touching the glass. We normally use it to scan pieces of paper into the computer, but we can use it to scan anything we actually want to, as long as it's not sticky, it's not liquid, and it's not going to scratch. So, there are items across the room. There's um, the bottom drawer of the filing cabinet, and then some of the drawers in the back um, that are in like that last second to last set of drawers over there. They have some really quite random stuff in it. What? Just about anything we want on the scanner. It will work a little better if you don't put really thick stuff way up here. If you leave that towards the end of the scanner. You notice these are all kinds of random things. You can also use your own random thing. Now only what's touching the glass is actually going to show up. So if I have cool stuff happening on top like that, is that going to be seen? No, no. no it's not going to be picked up. So I am just putting stuff on the scanner. And you, when you do your scanogram, you will obviously take more care because this is one of the most important parts of creating your piece of art like the ones that you saw. It needs to be intentionally created, whatever you do. Okay, so on the computer, I will look for. Look up there. I will look for the Picasso icon. This will come up. It will probably mention updates. Always say no. Um, just do only search my documents, pictures, and desktop because we're going to have to deal with it anyway. Um, don't use Picasso Photo Viewer, not now. It's not going to remember any of those settings anyway, so we'll just get through it as fast as we can. In Picasso, we will click on Import up here at the top left and choose Import from Canoscan. Okay. Now, this is not going to work. Goodness. This is not going to work on the yellow and the orange computers that don't have scanners. Right now it is trying to find the scanner and make sure it's there. You should hear it going. When you hear it making noises and stuff, you know it's kind of found it. This should pop up. We're going to hit preview. And then it's going to take a while. And we keep waiting. You can tell this is the exciting part of creating these. Normally, you'll only have to do this the first time. Um, as we are, we'll be able to change things and scan it again, and it won't wait as long after this first time that you've calibrated it. Okay, now it's preview scanning. So the preview... Can you say it like this? Are you staying focused? Okay. So the preview will pop up right here. And I can choose to accept less of it if I don't want the whole thing. This is also my best option if I don't like how things are set up on the scanner bed. I can change it really easily at this point. Let's say I just want to return that. I can do another preview. And see, it's not taking as long this time. So once you've got it going, it'll keep going. Notice the farther away from the glass, the blurrier it gets. What's right up on the glass is going to be really focused. The farther away, it's going to be less focused. So that's something you can use to your advantage to create different effects. Let's say I don't want that little bit, but I, I don't want that little bit, but other than that, I like it. When I get to the point where I like what I have, I'll hit scan. And yes, it will have to scan it again. But this time it's going to go slower. You hear it going slower. 
it's getting more detail, it's getting that final resolution that we want. Okay, so if I've hit scan, I can close this window, and now it should pop up right here that I've found this. I'm going to import to, doesn't matter where you import it to, it is not going to save it once this computer is shut down. Wherever it is, it's not going to save it. So if you want to import it to um, my pictures, you can just do today. That's fine for now. We'll click import all. And at this point, it's on the computer. What we really want to do is go ahead and save it on our OneDrive so we have a backup. So on these computers, there is a Office 365 link. You'll log into your email. So when you log into your school email, over here you have OneDrive. This is your file storage that you have through the school. No more H drive. Okay. So you'll probably want to make an art folder. I happen to already have one. Um, and you're going to want a folder to put this in. So we'll click new folder and then we'll scanogram or whatever you want to save it as. Okay, so here's my new folder. Once here I can upload. Now I put it in pictures today's date. So now I'm gonna do that. Once this finishes Okay, this is now uploaded. This is what you will have to do if you don't finish your scanogram. I would go ahead and save your raw scan like this so that no matter what, you can go back to this version. Okay, so now that's saved. In Picasa, I can double click on it and it pops up an editor. And I have all of these options. Um, I can crop it. I don't have to use the whole thing. Maybe I just like that part. I can crop it down to that little part. I can do basic fixes. I can straighten it up, which will actually kind of rotate it a little bit from our perspective. I can change the fill light. I can change the shadows. So I have all kinds of options here. I can tint it a different color. I can tint it more or less a different color. There's five tabs worth of options. I can How much crazy. is Picasso? Picasso's free. Oh. It's through Google. Oh, that's crazy. You'll always hit apply in Picasso. If you don't like it, you can hit cancel and it goes back to the way it was before. At any point, if it's the end of the day or whatever, we'll go ahead and save it. and then go over to OneDrive and upload that new version so that if we have to come back to it tomorrow or if the power goes out we can come back to that version and now it's there. So whatever I want to do, my goal, if you look at the rubric, my goal is about texture so I don't really want that. Um, and it's about creating a good composition so I still need to be thinking about I still need to be thinking about focal points, which maybe means you use that zoom, maybe not. I need to be thinking about creating a good piece of art, good composition. Just now, this is my medium instead of painting or drawing or whatever. When it's done, you will file save as one more time, upload it to OneDrive, and there'll be a space in a few days to turn it into the movie.